Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? I'm back with another video. Today we'll talk about why web scraping is important for your e-commerce business. I'm going to show you a very robust tool called Bright Data, formerly known as Luminati, which offers comprehensive solutions for your data scraping needs. I'm going to show you how to scrape eBay and Macy using Bright Data. In this world of cutthroat competition, every commercial enterprise is trying to outdo each other. Having access to data can give you that competitive advantage for your e-commerce business. Before I actually get into scraping eBay and Macy, let me quickly tell you the top reasons why your e-commerce business needs web scraping. Real-time tracking of competitor prices. Price is undoubtedly the most important factor while making an online purchase. Keeping an eye out on your competitor's prices and adjusting your price in real time accordingly can help you gain that competitive advantage. Analyze and predict market trends. The market is not as black and white as selling woolens during the winters. E-commerce is transforming rapidly. You need to keep up with the latest trends by analyzing what's working for your competitors to stay relevant. Learn about the customer. Find out how customers feel about specific products, preferences, choices, and purchase patterns through scraping product reviews. You could also perform sentiment analysis by scraping popular social media websites and product reviews that could then shape your e-commerce strategy. Predictive analytics. With the help of data scraping, you can have terabytes of data at your exposure. You can then use predictive analytics by analyzing past and present trends to predict the future trends. You could then accordingly formulate your product recommendations and promotion strategy. You could also use this information to improve your supply chain management to maximize profits. Content comparison. You might already know that search engines prefer to rank web pages with original content. Therefore, with web scraping, you can scrape the topics that your competitors are covering and compare how original your content is. This can help you beat your competitors at SEO. Now that we understand why data scraping is important for your e-commerce business, let me actually show you how to scrape two popular websites, eBay and Macy. We will use this awesome tool called Bright Data. It's a leading proxy server and data collection tool for your business. Let's get started. To begin, you need to create an account with Bright Data. They offer a $1.10 bonus to try the data collector tool. They have actually given me a special offer. So if you sign up with the link in the description, you get $1.50 as bonus when you top up with $1.50. So once you sign in, click on data collection from the left navigation bar. Then click on add new collector. Then just put the name of the website you want to scrape. They have ready-made templates for major websites, like I'll put in Macy. Then you will see a couple of templates here. One for scraping category pages and the other for scraping product pages. We need to use both of them, but first we will use the category page template so we can scrape the product links from any category on Macy's website. Once we have the product links, we will feed it to the product template to scrape product information like name, description, price, sizes, images, etc. So let's begin by choosing the category page link. Now under format my data set, select CSV, then just click on next. Here you can check the output and then click on next. Then select initiate manually. Now here we need to paste the link of the category page you want to scrape. So head on to Macy's website and under the shop by department, let's scrape shoes. Copy the link and paste it in the URL section. Then click on start. You can see the progress. For now, I will click on cancel because that much data is enough for this tutorial. Now we can see the collected data here, which is basically the product URLs from the shoes category. Let's get this into an Excel sheet. Click on done. You will see the collector that you just created. Click on it, then click on statistics. Then click on the download results icon. Now that we have these product links, let's move to the next step and scrape product information from them. We will use this sheet as an input sheet for our second data collector. We need to edit this sheet a bit, remove the name from the top and then delete the unwanted columns, input URL warnings and errors. Now let's save the sheet as CSV file as that is the required extension. Okay, now let's head back to Bright Data. 
Under data collector option, click on add new collector. Search for Macy and select the product page template. Click on choose this template. Select CSV under format my data set in option. Then click on next. We can select the output that we would like to scrape. Then click on next. Then click on initiate manually. Now we can feed it the CSV file containing the product URL that we prepared in the previous step. Click on browse for it and select the file. You will see some popular product links. Click on start. You can see the progress. I will click on cancel because that's enough for this tutorial purpose. Now we can see the collected data here. Let's get this into an Excel sheet. Click on done. Click on the collector and then click on statistics. Then click on download results icon. Here it is, we can see all the data we wanted to scrape like product name, size, price, sales price, description, stock, rating, reviews, images, etc. Don't get confused if you see the same product multiple times. That's because the size is different. I see the empty rows here because I cancelled the collector midway. If you let it run, all this will get filled. Similarly, we can scrape eBay. It is actually even easier. Let me quickly show it to you. Click on add new collector, then type in eBay. Select eBay product URL. Click on choose this template. Under format my data set in, select CSV and then check flatten CSV. Then click on next. Again click on next. Then click on initiate manually. Then simply just put the keyword here for which you want to scrape eBay. Like I'll put Apple Watch. You can add multiple rows to provide input through a CSV sheet. Then click on start. It will start scraping in no time. You will see the collected data. Like I see here the page URL, page title, price, shipping, etc. Click on done. To download the data in a sheet, you already know the drill. That'll be all for this video. I hope you liked the video. I just showed you how to scrape these couple of websites using Pride data. It could actually be used for scraping a lot more popular websites. They have pre-made templates ready for you to use. If you learned something new today, make sure you hit that like button or share this video with anybody you think it'll be useful for. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.